Have you ever wondered why the discard phase in a narcissistic relationship is incredibly painful? Well, to understand this, we first need to explore the concept of narcissism and the dynamics of narcissistic relationships. Narcissism isn't just about excessive self-love, it's a complex personality disorder that affects how one relates to others. Now let's talk about narcissistic relationships. These are typically characterized by three distinct phases, idealization, devaluation, and discard. During the idealization phase, the narcissist places their partner on a pedestal, making them feel incredibly special. This is followed by the devaluation phase, where the narcissist starts to criticize, belittle, and demean their partner. Then comes the final stage, the discard phase, where the narcissist abruptly ends the relationship, often leaving their partner feeling worthless and confused. It's a harsh and sudden fall from grace that can be deeply traumatizing. Today, we delve deeper into the final stage, the discard phase, and why it causes such profound pain. The discard phase is when the narcissist ends the relationship abruptly and without closure. A jarring sentence, isn't it? This phase is the final act in the narcissist's playbook and it's one that leaves many reeling in its aftermath. You see, the discard phase is like a sudden storm on a sunny day. The narcissist who once showered you with affection and praise suddenly becomes distant and aloof, leaving you in a daze. You might find yourself discarded like an old worn-out toy left behind without so much as a second thought. Now, the abruptness of this phase is what makes it so difficult to process. Imagine you're on a roller coaster ride, enjoying the highs and lows, the thrill of the journey. Then, out of nowhere, the ride stops. You're left hanging mid-air with no explanation as to why the ride ended. That's the abruptness of the discard phase. It's a sudden stop, a jarring halt that leaves you shocked and confused. Dr. Ramani Durvasula, a renowned psychologist and expert on narcissistic behavior describes this phase as a confusing, painful and often dehumanizing experience. The narcissist who was once the center of your world leaves without offering any explanation, without showing any empathy. It's as if you've been erased from their world, as if your existence doesn't matter anymore. It's a harsh blow, one that leaves you feeling discarded and devalued. This lack of closure is perhaps the most painful part of the discard phase. Closure is a vital part of the healing process. It's an opportunity to understand what happened, to make sense of the experience. But in the discard phase, the narcissist takes this away from you. You're left with unanswered questions, unfulfilled promises, and a heart full of hurt. So yes, the discard phase is incredibly painful. It's a phase that leaves you questioning your worth, your reality, and even your sanity. But why is this phase so painful? What makes the discard phase such a devastating experience? But why is this phase so painful? Let's explore. Firstly, the discard phase is often unexpected, leaving the person feeling blindsided. Imagine walking on a smooth path and suddenly, without warning, the ground beneath you gives way. That's how the discard phase feels in a narcissistic relationship. It's a sudden plunge into an abyss of confusion, betrayal and heartbreak. Let's delve a bit deeper. The abrupt end of a relationship with a narcissist can leave one feeling like a ship lost at sea. There's a whirlwind of emotions swirling around and the most prominent ones are confusion and betrayal. You thought you knew this person, believed in the bond you shared, but the sudden discard phase makes you question everything. Dr. Carol McBride, a renowned expert in the field of narcissism, paints a vivid picture of this phase. She says, the lack of closure and sudden shift can lead to significant trauma and feelings of worthlessness. And that's just it. The sudden end doesn't provide any closure. You're left with a million questions and the answers seem as elusive as a mirage in a desert. The trauma is significant because it's not just about the end of a relationship. It's about the end of what you believed was a significant part of your life. The realization that it was all an illusion can be devastating. And then, there are the feelings of worthlessness. The discard phase can make you feel like an object that has lost its value, like an old toy discarded by a child who has found a new one. This feeling can gnaw at your self-esteem, making you question your worth. But remember, the problem isn't you, it's them. The narcissist's inability to form a genuine connection, their need for constant admiration and validation, their lack of empathy, these are the reasons for the discard, not your worth or your actions. 
Secondly, the discard phase often involves a significant amount of gaslighting. You may find yourself questioning your perceptions, your memories, even your sanity, but hold on to your truth. It's the only compass you have in this storm. Gaslighting is a manipulative tactic used by narcissists to make their victims question their own reality and sanity. This form of psychological manipulation is a hallmark of many narcissistic relationships and it becomes particularly destructive during the discard phase. Let's delve into how gaslighting exacerbates the pain of the discard phase. First, it's important to understand that gaslighting is all about control. Narcissists use this tactic to destabilize their victims, making them question their perceptions, memories, and even their sanity. This creates a sense of dependency, where the victim feels they need the narcissist to understand what's real and what's not. Now, imagine this scenario in the discard phase, where the narcissist starts to withdraw affection and attention. The victim, already destabilized by the gaslighting, is left feeling disoriented and confused. They may start to blame themselves for the change in the relationship, further eroding their self-esteem and self-worth. Dr. Stephanie Sarkis, a renowned expert on narcissism and gaslighting, explains it this way. During the discard phase, the narcissist may use gaslighting to further confuse and control the victim, leading to deep emotional scars. This is because the victim is already in a state of vulnerability and the gaslighting only intensifies their feelings of confusion, guilt and self-doubt. This is why the discard phase is so painful. It's not just about the loss of the relationship, it's also about the loss of self. The victim is left questioning their worth their perception of reality and their ability to trust others. Moreover, gaslighting during the discard phase serves another sinister purpose. It helps the narcissist to avoid responsibility for the end of the relationship. By making the victim believe they are at fault, the narcissist maintains their illusion of perfection and blamelessness. Finally, the discard phase is painful because it shatters the illusion of the idealized partner and relationship. It's not just about the loss of a partner, but also the loss of the dream of what that partner and relationship could have been. And that, dear listeners, is a double blow that cuts deep. The discard phase forces the victim to face the reality that the idealized partner and relationship were just illusions. This is a bitter pill to swallow, a harsh truth that can shatter one's world in a moment. Imagine spending months, years, even decades living in a beautiful dream only to wake up to the harsh reality that it was all a facade. The person you loved, the relationship you cherished, were just smoke and mirrors, a carefully constructed illusion by the narcissist to feed their own ego. This realization can be deeply painful. It's like having a rug pulled out from under your feet, leaving you disoriented and confused. It's the ultimate betrayal, a stab in the back from the person you trusted the most. It's as if you were living in a bubble and it has suddenly burst leaving you exposed to the cold, harsh truth of reality. Dr. Craig Malkin, a renowned clinical psychologist and author, likened the discard phase to waking up from a dream. The discard phase is akin to waking up from a dream, a painful realization that the person and relationship they loved were never real. These words echo the profound pain and heartbreak that victims of narcissistic relationships experience during the discard phase, they have to grapple with the fact that their love, their investment, their dreams were all based on a lie. But as they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Despite the pain, the discard phase is also a chance for healing and growth. It's like a rebirth, a phoenix rising from the ashes. It's an opportunity to break free from the toxic grips of a narcissistic relationship, to reclaim your life, your identity, your self-worth. Remember, healing is a journey, not a destination. It's a process, a path that you walk one step at a time. It's about learning to trust again, to love again, but most importantly, to love yourself again. Despite the pain, the discard phase is also a chance for healing and growth, a path to recovery from the toxic grips of a narcissistic relationship. The discard phase in a narcissistic relationship is incredibly painful due to the abrupt end, gaslighting, and shattered illusions. This phase is characterized by a sudden and often unexpected severing of ties, leaving the victim in a state of shock, confusion, and profound sadness. The narcissist, who once seemed to be the perfect partner, now becomes a source of torment, manipulating reality through gaslighting and causing the victim to question their own sanity. This shocking revelation coupled with the shattering of illusions 
can leave the victim feeling lost and broken. But understanding is the first step towards healing. Recognizing the nature of the discard phase can help victims navigate their recovery journey, paving the way for healing and self-discovery. Remember, the end of a narcissistic relationship is not your fault. You are not alone and there is help and support available. Thank you for watching and take care.